Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, again, I got the chance to do a bit of watercolor landscape painting. Now this week, unlike the last two videos, this is not a demo video. I'm not, I'm not talking really about painting that I'm doing. It's just something to watch in the background. What I wanted to talk about this week was AI or artificial intelligence, specifically AI in the world of art and the world of generating art and creating images. It's something I've seen a few YouTube videos on and I've read a few blog posts. I guess there's some interest out there for some people. There are certainly a number of websites now where you can try it out for yourself. And that's what I did this week. So the website I tried out was called DALL-E, D-A-L-L hyphen E. I'll put a link in the description below if anybody's interested. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just the link is there if you're interested. The way it works is, well, first of all, you have to sign up. So you have to click on a button, give them your email. After a few weeks, they'll invite you. You just set up an account, create a password, the usual thing. You then get, I think it's up to 50 images. The first 50 are free. After that, if you want to create more, you have to pay for it. I was just curious to see what it would do. So I don't see myself paying for things in the future, but I was just curious to see what sort of images it could generate. And I think that's the key thing. It does generate the images. So the way it works is there's no programming or technical stuff involved. You just put in words, just natural language words, for example, a summer impressionist landscape. You put in as many words or as few as you like. It then generates images based on those words. So it's not like Google search. Um, if you do a Google image search, you could put in summer impressionist landscape and it will go off and try to find existing images that best match the words that you put in. This thing like DALL-E, these AI websites, the AI is actually generating unique images based on the, the words that you put in. And that's the key difference, I think. So a lot of people are saying, will this replace human artists? And for me, the answer is simply no, it won't. And the reason I say that is there's a sort of core base of collectors, art collectors who love art and they collect art because they love it. And those people Yes, they buy art because they love it, but they're also really interested in the people who are creating art in the artists themselves. And I just think that a human artist is m infinitely more interesting than a, an algorithm, a piece of AI mathematics or something. I'm sure there are people who disagree and think that the mathematics is more interesting than fellow human beings. But I think most of us think we're more interested in human artists. So in that sense, I don't see AI art taking over the whole art world. There is a novelty factor. So there are a number of websites, for example, where you can buy art that's generated by AI. And some of the big auction houses like Sotheby's and Christie's, they have sold some art that's generated by AI. But in general, it is, like I said, a bit of a novelty thing. And I think once the novelty wears off, I don't see AI generated art taking over from human produced art. These are three images that I generated with that DALI website. To be honest, I was totally and utterly underwhelmed by the results. They're just not impressive at all. Um, they look to me like if you just got some stock images and put them through, say, Photoshop and with Photoshop, you can apply some filters the images, for example, a posterizer filter that just sort of accentuates the pixelization and adds in maybe some false color. And that's just what it looks like to me. It's not, I could do it with Photoshop and a stock image. It's not impressive at all for me anyway, but maybe I didn't do it right. Maybe there's some, you have to choose the right words or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was very underwhelmed. I can see in the future, maybe this AI generated images. I can see that challenging the existing stock image websites. 
at the moment those you know people like photographers artists illustrators they can create these images and then sell them on some of these stock image websites but if you can generate similar sort of images in seconds for a fraction of the price and it's unique nobody else has this image then i can see that being appealing for a lot of people who buy stock images for their websites or whatever maybe also for writers for example children's book writers maybe this ai generated art would be appealing to them because as writers of course they're working and thinking with words all the time so if you can generate art based on words there might be some interest there from writers and as i say you can generate these images in seconds it doesn't take weeks or months um, as a, a human illustrator might require so there are some areas where i think art and artists will be impacted but overall i don't see ai taking over the art world okay well as i say hopefully this was interesting to some people it's a big topic this whole AI thing and I've barely even scratched the surface but anyway if you made it this far in the video thank you for watching and hopefully see you in next week's video